Well, Taylor Johnson, welcome to Bellator, man. Congrats on the win. Thank Quite you. the first impression. How are you feeling after that one? Oh, I feel great, man. I, uh, Ed's just such a nice guy. I don't like, you know, inju potentially injuring your opponent like that. But uh, great dude, great opportunity. And I'm just super excited, man. All glory to God. Yeah, I mean, you started working for that. How confident were you that you were going to be able to pull that out? Um, as soon as I, I realized he wasn't, uh, you know, super savvy in that position, I, I knew I was going to get the sub. Talk to me about what, uh, in the last year, plus has been for you. You went through LFA and you were undefeated. Head full of steam in the contender series. You suffered a loss. How, did that make this win even a little bit better for you? Yeah, it definitely did. Uh, the contender series loss was just me getting a little too excited. Uh, wanting to get that contract coming out and, and just, you know, I like, like my parents say, uh, my dad says, I went at him like I was killing snakes, you know, I was just like, eh, getting after it. Uh, this fight, I wanted to come out a little more reserved and um, pulling out the W in the first round, first couple minutes was a huge opportunity, huge opportunity. And coming in and winning is one thing, but beating a guy like Ed Ruth in the fashion you did is another. Uh, do you feel like you've inserted yourself right at the top of this division, you know, in an instant? Absolutely. Um, you know, I don't, have, I don't have a lot of fights I've had. Dozens and dozens of guys and uh, all, all across the West Coast that uh, weren't interested in fighting me So I've had a lot of fights fall through and uh, for, Have that opportunity against Ed, I, you know, I, I, I have the ability to beat anybody. Um, I just got to go out and do it Who makes sense for you for your next fight? Is there someone in particular that you're thinking about? Honestly, I haven't even thought about it. I uh, You know, whoever whoever the boss wants me to fight like I said, I'll, I'll fight anybody. I'll, I'll knock you out or tap you That's a, that's the goal. So Whatever they, whoever they want to put in front of me, I'm, I'm down to get it. Historically speaking, Ed has uh, made his name at, at welterweight, and here he comes up to, to middleweight to, to face you. Did you feel that you had a, a big size and strength advantage in there tonight? Uh, I definitely know I had a little size and strength on him. Uh, he came out and shot to the hips, and I, honestly, I thought he was going to maybe just try to stand and strike, because I'm not a three-time, you know, was he Penn State national champ, but I, I was a national champ NAI. I was recruited to Division One. I, I, I've wrestled a lot. I've wrestled very large man. I wrestled at 197 in college, so I figured I'd have the upper hand um, as far as grappling, just because, you know, maybe he'd get after me at first, but he's going to get exhausted trying to hold a guy my size down and trying to out-wrestle me, so I thought it would be stand-up, but right away, he went to the hips and, uh, you know, got down in the sub game and got hurt. Congratulations on the win, Taylor. Thanks, man. But, uh, Shay, for a guy who has five knockouts on his, on his record, how do you feel that you got the first submission win? Oh, uh, it feels great, but uh, there's something about just, you know, putting the four by fours up against somebody's head that I really enjoy doing. But uh, leg locks is also something I'm very passionate about. Um, I've noticed they're always there when someone tries to grapple me or take me down. So as soon as they get to the hips, I'm, I'll even give my back a little bit so I can roll to a, a leg lock. But getting a sub, first sub is great, especially a heel hook. I know. My coaches back in San Diego and my, my Jiu Jitsu coaches at ATT Portland are super stoked about that. Uh, second question is, do you mention uh, Dean Lister? Did you say John Danner was well? Uh, no, uh, uh, Dean Lister um, and Jocko Willing. Yeah, um, and uh, Jeff Glover was one of my coaches back in uh, San Diego. Craig Baker's another black belt that I work under over there. But uh, at, at Victory, when they were, uh, you know, before COVID, I trained there for about three, four years and got a lot of good Jiu Jitsu over there. And that, that's what kind of built the, you know, the Jiu Jitsu fighter that I am today. Yeah, uh, Dean Lister, you know, one of the best uh, when it comes to leg locks. Yeah. Uh, and what, so tell us, is this, is this something you're going to uh, input into your game? Always. Your yeah. So watch out for your legs. Well, this is helping the internet right here. Hey, David, congratulations on the win. Thank you. So, so you closed tonight as a uh, three to one underdog. I was just wondering if uh, that's something you're aware of going into a fight, or if uh, going into a fight is a big bet and I'm going to be impact how you look at it at home or anything like that. Um, I think it's funny. I mean, I knew I was an underdog going in because on paper Ed's accomplished a lot more uh, than me as a fighter, but uh, I'm one of those fighters that it doesn't matter who you place in front of me, they could be the best ever. I still have the chance, you know, or the opportunity to, you know, submit them and knock them out. Um, even if I'm exhausted, even if I'm getting beat up, you still are in danger always, so. Yeah, and so you were saying a big giant after the fight, but, uh, you know, somebody gives you their leg at the gym, you're going to rip it off. So is that heel hook something that you've really, really trained? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I come from heel hookers, that's my whole heel hookers. <laughs> I come from heel hookers over in San Diego, and uh, some of the guys at American Top Team Portland that I've been training at um, now because of, you know, the current world state, I kind of went back home, and um, they, they, they like heel hooks. Um, Bobby Owen Sherman is one of my uh, main coaches over there, and he's got a lot of... Uh, Got up and coming jujitsu fighters that love the heel hook game, so you know we play around with it quite a bit. I'm nice to guys at the gym though. Uh -huh.
Don't break your toes. Congrats on the win. Uh, just like you weren't in there too long tonight, so how soon would you like to get back in the cage? Like, uh, would you like to be on that ball with the stuff? Um, you know, whatever, whatever they have for me, uh, I'm down to get it. I, uh, I love fighting. I just right now I got married a little while ago, and my wife is, you know, kind of getting sick of me being gone all the time because I train, you know, two and a half hours away from home. So I'm gone during the week, come home on the weekends, and I'm gone here for a week and all over. But uh, you know, if the boss calls, uh, I'm ready to scrap. So whenever. And also, like, uh, looking at the landscape in the middleweight division right now, is there a fight that really appeals uh, to you right now, looking at some of the names that have been there? Honestly, I, I try to be smart with my career, and I, I, never, I don't really look past Ed, you know. I, I, all I had is Ed in sights, and uh, he was the goal. He was the next big step, and uh, I haven't really looked out and um, checked too deep into the roster, but uh, I'm sure I'll find someone in the next week that uh, looks like an interesting opponent. So I just want to fight tough guys, really.